So I've drawn you a picture of our course, and with the intention of trying to help you um, think about the amount of time that you're going to have to put in here. So look at what I've done. I have our, whoa, Monday class. I have our Wednesday class, okay? At some point, you are going to watch the video lecture that informs Monday's class. I would imagine most students take about two hours on those video lectures. Some students take more. Some students take less. Video lectures tend to be closer to an hour. Um, sometimes they ooze into some rare ones are an hour and a half, but I really try hard to focus in and have them done in an hour. But the reason why I put two hours in there is because usually students are also studying and processing the material as they are watching the video lecture, and this is really, really positive. I highly recommend it. it it's worth putting the time in to have a better understanding before coming to class. So I'm envisioning two hours to um, do the work that is necessary, and that two hours, the more time you spend at that stage, the more valuable the hour and a half clicker time will be because it will be review. If you come to the clicker class having not really invested time in getting the video content, then the clicker experience is going to, like, it will be valuable, but it, you won't be able to leverage it for what it could be. It could be a super powerful, um, review opportunity to solidify tricky concepts. So the quality of the time you put in here will benefit the quality of time you're able to uh, have during class. Clicking, come in class for an hour and a half, lecture, awesome, straightforward. Lab is another hour and a half and another opportunity to um, mess with the concepts in a hands-on way to check your understanding. So awesome, lab, fantastic. You're going to do it again on Wednesday. So think, so you put in about two hours to prep for all of this stuff. One of the things that's probably going to happen in this is that you are going to work on your external brain during that time. You probably will add to your external brain during the lecture and during lab. So, so embedded in all of this is um, working on your notes and maybe rewriting them or whatever you need to do to best help you. So then you're going to redo that whole process for Wednesday. You're going to do six of those, and all of that informs an exam. Every week, you're all, so the exam is over everything that all of this is going to inform what happens on the exam. But in that week, at the end of the week, there's, there's three things that you're going to spend some time on. I threw three hours into your external brain. That's nothing more than studying. I think I've said it before. I can't remember what I've said. But if you wait until your exam to study and to do your external brain, you're just wasting your time. It, it's, it's not an efficient use of your time. If, because I test for understanding. Some students are like, dude, she's the craziest, like most confusing tester ever. But it's because if you don't understand the concepts, then you're not going to understand what I'm asking you. So I, I really do test for your understanding. If you think that you can look at six lectures worth of physio content the weekend before the exam and really understand it, um, you're wrong. It, it, you aren't going to do it, and you're not going to be able to carry out a strategy like that in your programs that you're going into. Like you, you can't expect to really understand things if that's your approach. If you don't care about really understanding it, then that's fine. Like go ahead and do that. But I would recommend spending time with your external brain every week after all of this to um, improve it and, and make sure that you've got, that you really know what you're talking about. Every week you're going to have a quiz. I put an hour in here for the quiz. 
It's probably not going to take you an hour, but again, it might be something that you um, use to study. So I threw an hour in there. Uh, you can take it twice. I'll take the high score. So really, this is, it's free points for studying. And then here's the one that, this is kind of a wild card. It's the integration project um, process. You probably, I'm envisioning three to four hours every week spent on integration project. Some weeks you'll spend more time. Some weeks you'll spend less time. When I say three to four hours, um, I am not, like you, that's not a requirement, and it's just a guideline, and mostly that guideline is in there because if you're spending more than that, you're doing something wrong. That said, if you haven't done any integration project work and you are at week four, then really you have 16 hours of work to do, right? And so, yeah, you might have to put in more than three to four hours at that time, which there's nothing wrong with that. With the, extra, with the integration project, you need to roll with how it rolls. Once we start getting benchmarks, on week like five or whenever that is, it's going to be pretty steady. But I'm expecting that you're doing some serious research all the way up until then. And learning is not ever easy. Like it just, it isn't. You have to do hard work to learn something. And hopefully that's why pick a topic that you like because um, hopefully that time is kind of interesting time, like you're looking into something that you're interested in. Um, it is just a guideline, but again, I'm putting it there because if you're spending more time than that, we probably should talk. And be okay with that. Like I offer pep talks. I offer pep talks to my YouTube students. Out. Like I'm a good pep talk giver, and I, I'll give you a pep talk. I'll totally walk you through and help you frame things. And you kind of have to trust me that I have the skills to carry out such talks, but um, I do. And you can, you can trust me. And uh, all right, how are you feeling? I hope, I wish I could hug you right now um, because I hope that didn't overwhelm the holy living tar out of you. The goal was not to overwhelm you, but to um, help you get to feeling like, okay, I can handle this crazy scene. If you have any questions, give me a holla holla. Shoot me an email or um, send me a message on Canvas. I haven't published our Canvas class yet, but uh, it's imminent, so probably by the time you watch this thing, the Canvas course will be published. And I'm really excited to see you slash meet you in holy crud like nine days. <laughs> oh, holy crud. Okay. Bye-bye.